Yeah, hi, is this Jason? Jason here, how's it going? Good, how are you? Very good, very good. Talk to me a little bit about Zebrahead uh, and what you guys are up to these days. Um, well, actually, we are at home right now uh, in Southern California <clears throat> for the next uh, three and a half weeks, and then we, we uh, start uh, a UK tour. Uh, we start uh, a show. We have a show in the UK, and then we start a, a German, European, and UK tour um, throughout November. And then um, we get back home uh, approximately on like the 15th of December, and then we're home for a little bit. And then uh, mid January, we take off for Japan. Um, and then in February, we go to Australia. So we're doing a lot of touring. How is touring today, like, uh, compared to when you guys first started? Um, you know, I think for, for us, uh, we, we started a while ago. Um, and just through the experience of doing it for so long now, I, I think it's become just a little bit easier. Um, you know, when you're first starting out and you start touring, there's a lot of things you got to get used to, like living with, uh, you know, a, a bunch of your friends on a, on a tour bus and not being close to your, you know, family and friends at home. Um, that kind of takes a toll on you, but I think if you, you know, once you keep doing it for for a longer period of time, um, you kind of get used to it. And you know, now through the internet and like, uh, you know, skyping and everything, it, it makes it a little bit easier as well. Now, get nice album. Uh, let's say, how was the recording process in this album? You know, during it. Um, well, actually, the, uh, get nice uh, was the first time we recorded in our own studio, so. Uh, it was it was a really cool experience because we weren't on anybody's time schedule. Like we could go in whenever we wanted and you know stay as late as we wanted to, and um, so it, it was uh, a lot more comfortable, I guess. And um, you know, we, anytime anybody had an idea, we would just you know show up and, and work on it until we were done, and we didn't have to worry that another band was coming in or another band was going to record soon. So the, the time constraints weren't really there. So. Um, it was actually really a great experience for us. And also for you, know, the guitar tones and stuff on this album. What type of amps are you using? Um, well, if if you really want to uh, talk exactly what kind of amps and stuff, you'd have to talk to Maddie or, or Greg. Um, but um, I know they use uh, Marshalls and Soldanos for sure. But I think uh, we worked with our friend Jason Freeze on the album, and he had some of his own like heads and. and uh, cabinets and stuff that he would bring in and out of the studio and so I, I'm not exactly sure like what amp or what head was used on each song but um, I, I know they used a lot of uh, Greg Love Soldanos and, and uh, I believe Maddie uh, used uh, Marshalls. Now when you guys go on tour do you bring like certain amps also? Uh, actually we have uh, especially like in, in the UK and Europe we have uh, our own uh, amps and stuff that we keep there so we don't really travel <clears throat> with that we only bring our guitars uh with us so uh it, it, we find it's a little bit easier than having to travel with you know the big, the big bulky heads and stuff like that and also for guitars and that what what do you uh, enjoy nowadays <clears throat> well um greg uh plays a lot of fenders he, he loves Fender Strat, Strat, Stratocasters, and Maddie um, plays Fuji Gen, which is a Japanese company, um, and he, he loves his Flying V by Fuji Gen. Um, so at the, at the moment right now, the, those are the two main guitars that they use. And for vocals, let's say, um, any special technique you keep on the road, let's say, to have it going um, fresh all the time? Uh, yeah, you know, we, we uh, both Maddie and I have gone to, like, vocal coaching, and um, they've given us uh, warm-ups and, and uh, cool-down exercises that we do uh, before and after we play just to make sure that we don't lose our voices and, and to keep our voices strong. So we've been we've been doing that for, for quite a while now. That's interesting you say after. So after the show, you guys got to do also something? Yeah, I mean, especially, um, it, you know, if it's a long tour and, and you, you kind of feel like your voice is wearing wearing down a little bit, it's always a good idea um, to, to do a cool down. Um, to just, you know, 
just to keep your voice from going out. But you, you obviously don't want to do too much of it because that also puts a strain on your voice. So you, you got to kind of weigh it out to see, you know, for, for sure before, sometimes after. So let's say for uh, the Internet world now, how is that treating Zebrahead? Um, you know, I think we're really fortunate because we, we have had um, really great fans that have stuck with us for uh, from the beginning of our career. And, you know, through Facebook and through um, our zebrahead.com site, we, you know, we've been able to kind of coordinate with them and let them know what's happening with us. And, um, you know, when we're writing a song or when we're recording, um, you know, we, we keep updates uh, and our, our fans are very good at checking uh, checking us out on, on our Facebook site. And, you know, when we come in, into town for tour, we, we always post. And, um, and you know, it's great. I, I think it allows you to get uh, one step closer to your fans even when you're not touring. You know, you, you have an opportunity to keep in contact with them and let them know uh, when a song is coming out, when a video is coming out, you know, when, when we're going to be in town. So. You know, the Internet, I think, is an invaluable tool to, to musicians nowadays, and I know it's been that way for us. Like when you guys write songs, like uh, upcoming tour, you guys are going to be looking into new songs at all? <clears throat> um, yeah, you know, we, uh, now that we kind of have our own studio when we're at home, we've been working on uh, songs, uh, even though we just finished an album. Um, but, you know, on tour, we're... we're going to focus mainly on some of the songs off of Get Nice. Um, we'll be playing a few of those songs, and then, of course, you know, we'll have a few songs from each album. But as far as writing goes, um, we, we're still writing. Uh, I think everybody's kind of inspired because, like I said, it's really easy to just, you know, call, call each other up and go, hey, let's meet at the studio and have an idea for this, or, uh, you know, uh, there's a cool guitar part, let's let's go work on it. So when we're at home, we, we have that opportunity now as before. Um, you know, we, we didn't have our own studio at the time, so it, it was a little bit more difficult. So basically, you guys do come in with ideas. Don't, don't just get together and, like, create something right from there. Um, it's it's different. For example, um, this last week, we, we met up and uh, we were just jamming, and, you know, there was this really cool guitar part that everybody liked, so we built a song around that. But oftentimes, somebody will have, like, an idea or a melody or a, a lyrical idea or, you know, something. And we'll, we'll just kind of start off and just everybody will, you know, throw their two cents in and, you know, we'll, we'll work on the song until everybody feels like it's reached its full potential and then we go from there. Awesome stuff. Ali, thank you uh, for taking the time. No, no worries, man. Thank you for uh, taking the time for the interview. I really appreciate it. All right. Well, you have a good one and uh, have a great tour in November. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.